The ongoing war in Ukraine appears to be a paradoxical march. One way into the 21st century and the other into the early 20th. Despite the heavy use of drones and cruise missiles, which gives the impression of high-tech warfare, the intense use of trench warfare and artillery is reminiscent of the First World War, with Russian artillery constantly shelling and the long-forgotten horrors of trench warfare lurking in the background. The battle for Bakhmut has developed into the war's meat grinder. Hello and welcome to Combat Tech. In this episode, we'll look at the artillery duel in the Ukraine war. Since the Russians were either unwilling or unable to bring their air force into the battle in sufficient numbers to dominate the skies and make life difficult for Ukraine's ground forces, they were forced to rely heavily on the other option, massed artillery. Given its relative importance, the Russian military has invested heavily in its artillery systems, with many of the newer systems having enhanced ranges and firepower. On paper, the Russian army has one of the best artillery fire control systems in the world. In practice, Russia's artillery advantage is being squandered by poorly trained and undisciplined Russian gunners who adhere to rigid, outmoded doctrine. The Russian use of artillery during the larger invasion of Ukraine that began last February did not go as planned. According to estimates, Russian forces fired up to 60,000 rounds of artillery per day, the vast majority of which did not hit any military targets. That is a very expensive way to conduct an invasion. At the very beginning of the war, both Russia and Ukraine had ex-Soviet artillery. Of course, the Russians had numerical superiority, sometimes 10 to 1. This would be bad news if Ukraine was entirely reliant on Cold War artillery. But in the months since the Russian invasion, billions of dollars in munitions have flooded into Ukraine from NATO and other nations. The M777 Howitzer and HIMARS were possibly the most game-changing pieces of artillery equipment. These two weapon systems provided the Ukrainians with two very important benefits that repeatedly ruin Russians' days. Pinpoint accuracy and mobility. Let's check them out. Initially developed for the U.S. Marine Corps, M777 is a 155mm towed gun that, through proven technology and the innovative use of titanium and aluminum alloys, meets the requirement for rapidly deployable and accurate artillery fire support. And, almost immediately after their arrival in Ukraine in May, reports of M777 systems destroying Russian targets began emerging on social media. Modern battlefields like Ukraine require quality systems that are quick and easy to transport. In terms of mobility, the M777 has a production weight of 8,256.17 pounds, or 3,745 kilograms, and can be towed by an air-braked vehicle heavier than 2.5 tons. A crew of eight is required to operate the M777 normally. It can also be operated by as few as five men in an emergency, but with a significantly reduced rate of fire. The M777 requires three minutes to emplace and two to three minutes to displace. The M982 Excalibur is one of the most heavily used projectiles for the M777. This is a GPS-guided HE round, which boasts fin stabilization and near pinpoint accuracy giving it a range of up to 25 miles, or 40 kilometers, when fired from a 155mm weapon system. Like everything good, it has a price, of course. M982 Excalibur is a very expensive gear. One projectile costs like a small rocket, $112,800 as of early 2021, while the price of conventional 155mm projectiles is around $300 to $1,000. The United States also sent relatively low-cost XM1156 PGKs to Ukraine, which are smart fuses that are installed on regular 155mm ammunition, turning them into high-precision ones. Out of the billions of dollars in weapons the White House has shipped to Ukraine since the Russian invasion, perhaps none have attracted as much attention as the M142 HIMARS, an advanced rocket launcher that Ukrainian troops have used to devastating effect. Developed for the American Army in the late 1990s, the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS is a light multiple rocket launcher that is installed on Army's FMTV 5-ton truck. HIMARS carries a six-pack of GMLRS rockets or one TACMS missile and is designed to launch the entire MLRS family of munitions. Most of the GMLRS series rockets the system fires have an effective range of up to 57.2 miles, or 92 kilometers. The HIMARS launcher can aim at a target in just 16 seconds. 
Manufacturer Lockheed Martin describes the M142 HIMARS as having shoot and scoot capability, referring to the fact that it's a highly mobile weapon system that can fire and retreat at speed. From the first day of its combat deployment, the accurate and agile HIMARS has frustrated the Russians. The US has sent 20 HIMARS to Ukraine and has promised to send 18 more. Washington wants to double the range of Ukraine's HIMARS rocket systems by supplying GLSDB ammunition, which are low-caliber glide bombs adapted for ground launch. The SDB is approximately a 250-pound or 113-kilogram weapon, with an inertial navigation system assisted by an advanced satellite anti-jamming system, combined with a penetrating blast and fragmentation warhead and a programmable electronic fuse. A HIMARS rocket launcher when equipped with GLSDB ammunition can engage targets at distances of up to 93 miles or 150 kilometers, also having the ability to engage targets from different angles and with extremely high accuracy, being able to hit within a radius of 3.3 feet or 1 meter around the target.